she chose to break away from the old, um, very simple, plain designs of the um, beginning of the 19th century and decided to decorate in a higher relief like this and add a lot more cobalt and a lot more interest to the crock. So she wanted to, I think she was showing an appeal to women who um, were using these in their kitchens and they were much more appealing. So it was all about selling your product. So showing a highly decorated crock like this would appeal to women of that, that period. So the unfortunate thing is that Maria Kellogg um, did not sign this catalog this um, crock with her name because during that time period women weren't allowed to own their own businesses and um, they didn't get much credit for the amount of work that they did. So um, it's, it's believed that this crock was actually decorated by her and signed by her, um, which she did was sign her husband's name. And it's um, in this area is a very highly desirable crock. So um, this is a nice thing to um, try to seek out, but you're, there won't be a lot of them there um, that will be signed like this. Script is very unusual to find. Like I was saying before, stamping a crock like this is pretty a pretty general rule of the thumb that you're going to see when you're buying crocks. This is very unusual. So something to look for. Um, if you see a crock signed in script, you know it has a lot of value to it. So those are some of the things to look for when you're um, collecting.